Hey, welcome to the stream. I'm going to make an effort to get through the rest of this today. It's, uh, it's daytime, so... It's not at the hour I usually stream, but I figure... Get this done, and then... That means later on Breath of the Wild. At least that's the plan. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. This game has been, uh... It's been interesting, to say the least. up to ru ruins yeah ruins okay also hello uh apologies if i've mispronounced it how do you pronounce your name This is new. Yeah, wow, okay. Just testing. But is it like... Is it Wayne or is it Wanna Say? Like, phonetically, I guess. Which is correct. Don't even know. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Had spicy food for lunch. Which do you prefer? I guess is... It's hard. Okay. So, here's a... Well, I guess it does work that way, because if... Yep, that allows that, and that allows that. Okay, we got it. Depends on the language. Wayne is nice. Alright, we'll go with that. Started Minish Cap on the Switch's GBA thing. You're impressed by the Switch GBA thing or by... By Minish Cap. Minish Cap. It is a, it is a very good game. Just remember to spend your seashells. Don't make the same mistake I did. <laughs> don't... Don't make the same mistake I did and have to end up spending three hours on the fucking gotcha game. Just every time you have a couple hundred seashells, go spend them. Just finished the mines, it's still a very early game. You should still be spending the seashells. <laughs> I, ca I can't stress this point enough. Like, at the start, just spending one seashell is enough. Like, if you have 50, you could probably get 50 of the toys already. Take it from someone who, yeah, lost their mind. It is by far the worst heart piece I've ever had to acquire in a Zelda game. The game is fantastic. It exudes charm. It is... It is a great game. Love the Minish Cap. But that one heart piece? 
fuck that heart piece. That's... It doesn't ruin the game, it's just, man. I wish I had known. I got to play it when I was a teenager, but you know. I had long since forgotten. I don't think I ever did the gotcha thing when I played it, so that's why it was like uh, a memory. It's actually the perfect day to do a daytime stream because it's raining outside. It's kind of miserable. So, I mean, I did sleep in, but I went out for a bit, got some food, did a little bit of grocery shopping, and then came back. So now I'm ready to get through the rest of this. left blue it's 60 degrees there it was 20 yesterday so it's a bump I had this weird dream where uh and this might be a little dystopian but I don't, I don't, I don't think I was, I wasn't watching TV, it was, uh, like, it would have been a smart TV for sure. But there were these ads coming on, and there were these different companies, and their whole ad was just why you shouldn't unsubscribe to their subscription service. Because I guess times are tough. And Twitch's one came on. And I don't com completely remember their, their pitch, but their pitch was somewhere along the lines of, unlike other subscription services, you can pick how much you spend on Twitch. But then, you know, it kind of becomes apparent, hmm, Twitch costs way more on a monthly basis than any other subscription service. Anyway, it was weird. <laughs> the beef jerky has entered the, uh, the crispy crust stage. Okay. Yeah, this is past the parcel. Although, no, that should be enough. It was, it was a little, it was a little weird. Ooh. Okay. Ah, oh, no, this is gonna suck. I'm on at a decent hour. Yeah, because I want to get this done. 
Sunlight Arc and play Breath of the Wild. I'll say hi, Sandy. Wait, do I just... I think this is right. Okay, and then... You... Okay. Uh-oh. That's fine, that's fine. <clears throat> oh no, I need another bomb. Red needs to go back. I do like you can rescue one with another. How's this gonna work? have missed something. Take it back. Hmm. <laughs> what am I not saying here? I do like the puzzles. It's just as long as I don't have to fight anything that isn't intended for a single player. That's when the game gets a little rough. Shit. 
should have just done that. I don't know why I complicated that. That said, the game itself is fine single player, but the bosses completely ruin the single player experience. I would agree. They just didn't do balance adjustments. To account for the fact that you can't do things as quick when you have to control three units separately. I think all they really needed to do was just add wiggle room. Certain bosses just you make them give you like an extra two seconds to do whatever it is you need to do. And that probably would have been enough the majority of the time. There are others like that bird fight. Man. Like that, that took quite a bit of effort. Oh, what is this? I can't, I can't even... What the fuck is this? Swap. Oh no, okay, fuck me then. It still picks them up even when you swap. What is this fight? I don't even know what to do. That just seems bullshit. I can't target them. Speaking of boss fights ruining the experience. Right on schedule. Just have to think about the reward. The reward is Breath of the Wild later. Breath of Fresh Air. Yeah. More ways than one. Look at look at this shit. They're, they're not even separating. They're like... Okay, I, I need a game plan for this. I tried to hit him with a boomerang, it didn't seem to work. And they move really quickly. I tried hitting him with a sword, it didn't work. Oh yeah, no, instructions seem super clear about what I'm supposed to do. Nope, nope, nothing works there. What is- what is this fight? <laughs> cool. No, yeah, that, this- This is, uh, yeah. This is fun.
I love fights that just spam enemies and it doesn't give you enough time to do what you need to do. This is, this is disgusting. Alright. And your clones get in your way as well. It's just this game, it's... It is a fun game. Everything between the boss fights. I'd say half of the bosses are fun, half of them they're just terribly designed. For... For a single player experience. They just don't, they just don't work. But otherwise, when you're going through the rest of the stages, where it's all just typical Zelda problem solving and puzzles, it's great. It's the most fun aspect of this game. But stuff like that... The amount of times where an enemy has moved too quickly or doesn't give me enough time to swap between units and do what I need to do effectively, it's just, it's all too much. It is this game's biggest problem. So pretty much what I need to do in this fight is put them somewhere where they're not going to get in the way. Which I can't even do because i got to stand on the buttons, so it's like... Okay. Why does there have to be so many of them? <laughs> I don't want to close my eyes. Hello, game. Oh, there it is. Just, uh, let's just go on. The sneeze stopped. No, I did it.
Mystery extracts. There's still, there's still quite a bit left. Let's see, let me do my math. There's what, 16 stages per world? So 32, 28 stages. Something like that. I want to get it done. definitely one of these games that I think you'd be forgiven if you gave up. Doesn't work. Didn't hit the other one, did it? Okay, so there's only one more to light. I tried that, it didn't seem to work. Yeah, it does nothing. Hmm. Yeah, 
It has to be with bow, because that's the only one that can reach that far. If it were fireball, I would have been able to hit it with this. Okay, what am I missing here? Ah, uh, no, there's no upper area here. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely not that. Seeing if there's anything I've missed. can harm that ghost. don't get it like you would think it would be this wait a minute what if this is just a camera trick like what is higher. I don't have anything to transfer this one across one further. doesn't reach. Oh. Oh, 
Ah, oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. The answer to this is going to be something simple that I've overlooked. Yeah, so it is too low, so I need to somehow get the archer to be one unit higher. But the problem is I can't get... Like, you can't just throw across the scrap. The green has to be to the right. Okay, so I... First instinct was correct. It's a double... It's a double shot. And then I have to... Right. It feels like it's correct. But this would be super finicky if this was the case. Oh my god. Fuck that. But then the archer's at one height, so it's like it's not going to shoot a fire arrow now. Okay, but I have both of them over here. So what is this? This wasn't the answer because the arch is at a completely different height, so it's not going to shoot a fire arrow anymore. Uh, or is this just? Is this just like a really annoying hitbox? I don't- I don't wanna like... Give up just yet. <laughs> By the way, when I'm talking, I'm just talking out loud. So I'm not just sitting here in silence trying to figure it out. Just thinking out loud.
This is the only thing I haven't tried, is hitting this with a fire arrow. I don't think it made any difference. It's going to be something minor. It usually is. Yeah, this just seems it's either mechanically difficult to pull off or it's it's something simple and it's just not clear uh, what it is. I can't believe the arrow thing doesn't work, like, unless it's just a dumb hitbox thing. said is like there's a hidden floor or something. It doesn't look like it though. No, I know it's a multiplayer game first, like, that's such a redundant thing to say. <laughs> well aware. It's like my number one critique of it is it offers a single player experience but doesn't do anything to make the single player experience uh, good. It doesn't adjust it. It's 
sometimes you have to do these maneuvers that's just like extremely tedious. I might have to look this one up, in all honesty. I don't want to be here for an hour, hitting my head against a brick wall when it's... ...not clear. I've tried the things where it should have honestly been the answer. Bound shot, but that doesn't. Shit. Yeah, but this is annoying. Yeah, I don't like this. This is kind of shit <laughs> for single player. Imagine if I didn't have A Link Between the Worlds, the buffer between spirit tracks in this game. Man, I would be a little depressed right now. I'm gonna do it from further down. I 
but the problem now is this is at the incorrect height now at least I think it is there a place to get hints? Uh, I don't know about hints. There's walkthroughs. There's plenty of walkthroughs. I mean, I could maybe give a hint. Yeah, but see, this is no different than me standing here. So what is this going to resolve? You got sidetracked by consent, so I forgot you were supposed to do. What was, what is the item that you've gotten, if any? You got the first splitting ability. Okay, have, have a think about, so pretty much you're allowed to, have a, have a think, have a think. But you use that splitting ability to be able to overcome an obstacle you couldn't overcome somewhere. I can give you a specific cardinal coordinate if you want. But, um, otherwise, okay. Uh, west. Your search goes to the West Hyrule Fields. If I'm not mistaken. This is... I, I, I can't believe how annoying this is. Why is this being so unbelievably annoying? Well, this is, this is definitely what I need to do, it's just how. Why, why is it not allowed from this height, or do I have to... There's no, it's this specific. Nah, chat, this is, this is shit. I'm gonna look it up, I'm sorry. It's just one of these things that's just not well designed for a single player. I'm just gonna look up a video on it. I've tried. I know more or less what's involved. It's just... I don't want to be here for an hour. Let's see. I want a single player version of it. There it is, single player. Okay, I'm watching. Okay. 
Dude, it's exactly it's exactly what I'm doing. It's it's really just that fucking annoying to pull off. It's exactly what I'm doing. It's exactly what I'm doing, but it's actually that annoying to pull off. Yep, it's ex it's, it's exactly what I'm doing. What I'm doing is the answer. It's just that annoying to do. Okay. Well, that that's that's just great. Okay, it's done. I literally mimicked the spots that was on the YouTube video. <laughs> I waited for them to get it, and then I, like, just straight up just copied the positions they were in. Disgusting. Hate it. That was not great. I didn't- for the record, I didn't figure it out. The spots I straight up just copied, but it was exactly what I was doing. It's just that particular. It had to be that specific. Nah, that was- that was terrible. It wasn't just the fact that- yeah, I forgot about the rebound mechanic, that's fair enough. But just the fact that it required such a specific way of hitting the fireball, nah. That was clunky. That's the part I take issue with. Could have hit the wall with fire and then shoot the arrow. Yeah, but that's still not easy. That's still shit and clunky. For something where most of the puzzles have been something you don't really have to think about, that is, you have to really like, you have to grasp at straws to do it. That's what I'm saying. It's like, this is the first time where I've had to grasp at straws to complete a, pl a puzzle in this game. And that's just bad design. Even when I had the correct answer, it still made me feel like I had the wrong answer. Anyway, we move on. That wasn't even like a... I don't know, that was... It was just an issue. With hitboxes. It was funny because I was like, is this, is this just going to be a hitbox thing? I set up multiple times. And it was, just in a different way. Yeah, don't tell me there's going to be more issues, because that's just going to make me get more and more tempted to just not finish this one.
I was about to make a mistake. time. This is kind of the reason I wanted to get through this during the day, because then later on, at my typical stream time, it'll be, it'll be the good stuff. I don't have to do that. I can throw them across. They're going to be back, so I'm going to wait. Wait, really? I'm just going to say... Okay, just defend the key. They'll be back. They keep coming back. Forever gonna keep coming. That right, doesn't matter. That's one. Oh, okay. Enemy spam. Yeah, enemy spam. Yeah. Challenge the player by spamming enemies over and over again. Yeah. time.
I'm gonna use this opportunity to get hearts. That'll do for now. Oh, this looks like another fight that's well designed for single player. I can already see it coming. Is there any strategy to this, or is this just literally... Okay. There is no strategy to this, this is just annoying. I didn't have to do anything special. Eventually I'll catch up to it. Cool. Better than mold them, so you say now. This looks like this looks like an enemy that that's constantly going to put out the lights. the role of the other two. No? Alright, fuck me then. Does this seem very, uh, crystal clear as to what I need to do? I'm not even sure if I'm damaging it. What? 
Is this really just a case of... Is that taking damage? I, I can't tell, because if that's the case... Okay, now it is. I don't understand what I did to hit it that other time. Look, it almost seems like intentionally putting out the fire and then lighting it again. Get it. I'm not sure what I'm what I did to hit it before. But it's a little bit weird. I guess. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to tell you what I did, but okay. At least I didn't die. I need to find my copy of Breath of the Wild, it's somewhere. 
I haven't... It's, I think I know where it is. It's just... I need to get it out. Okay. Let's hope these set of four stages are, are, are better than the previous four. I did not enjoy... Can you imagine trying to coordinate some of this stuff with randoms? It would be impossible. <laughs> Just imagine playing multiplayer, and you're playing with, uh, with random people, and you're trying to coordinate some of the stuff I had to do. How, how would you do that? There's a time limit on it. Of course there is. A double time limit. Uh, I need to get this one back, otherwise it's gonna take damage. There's a double time limit on it. Blue hits it. <laughs> yep, no, this is, uh, yeah. Not easy. Okay, I have to put them all in position, otherwise it just doesn't work. Hook shot is over here. Gust is over here. Okay. Let's start with Gust, fire, hook shot. That's not enough time. That's not enough time, dude. I have to put them all into position and then do the thing, and it still doesn't give me enough time. Oh my god. Okay. Throw them. No, this is- this is fucked. I hate this. I'm sorry if I'm complaining a lot, but it, it just annoys me so much that they didn't take this into consideration that it takes a human controlling three characters, like, at least three extra seconds to do a task and didn't account for that. It is just such a rudimental thing. It's genuinely making me annoyed. But I'm gonna take damage because these things are gonna fall off, watch. Oh. It, the same problem just keeps repeating itself. Right, I'll try my best not to get annoyed at it, but... At this point, you can see the game's biggest flaw is, like, 
pretty well highlighted at this point. Everything up to this point ha has been fun. Just bosses were the only problem, so now we've entered the part where stages have not been given the correct consideration. Battle music has it ended. Uh huh. All right. This looks awful. Yeah, I know. That's definitely been the theme of this world. I definitely made the right choice doing this during the day. <laughs> I think it's sort of been more frustrating at night where I'm more tired. Chosen correctly. I need the fire one here. like the disappearing block thing in Mega Man, but on a much, much more sick level. Oh, okay. That didn't work. They really needed to remove the thing where your dolls take damage when they fall down the hole. Because that just discourages experimentation. For making one attempt, you lose anywhere between two to three health. For multiplayer, I get it, but... Man...
like right there, the tower cr crumbling, and then it's pretty much, well, you're gonna take anywhere between two to three damage, depending on how many dolls fall in. I'm just gonna take one across right now. Okay, that at least worked. Thankfully I did the right thing. Yep. I was trying to pick up the other one. Uh, You have to play this in such a specific order or it just doesn't work. I think these enemies being on this as well is just like the ultimate just slap in the face. And you have to have the tower in a specific order and it just doesn't give you enough room. Yeah, no, that's cool. The poor kids whose mother bought them this game because she knew they loved Zelda and this was their one game per year. Uh, I mean, I don't know how you can get away with playing this single player. Like look look at look at that shit down there. I'm dead.
I, sa I just salvaged that. But just consider what I have to do to fix this now, to get all three across. I have to fix my tower, whilst those blocks are disappearing. Because there's no other way. No, the hook shot lets me get to them, but it doesn't pull them to me. Okay, this is the safe block here. It gives me it gives me a bit of time. It's the strength and the weakness of this game is like the links fill spe fill specific roles, but sometimes it's just because you needed to fill specific roles, adjusting that on the fly. Do I really need to point out anything else? Swap to green now. Blue. Wait, what do you mean Link fell? Green. Blue. Disappearing. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to find out what that is. I'm good. Save states would be useful, but. You're not a real gamer in the eyes of some if you use safe states. <laughs> because they didn't exist in the original games. So there's no room for error here. I have to uh, get this done first try. At least it's obvious what I need to do. You'll admit it's not as satisfying. No. Especially when you complete something that is extra tedious. Okay, well that's a- see, this is a simple counter. This... This is fine. This is the one time I've seen where it's taken into account that you're one person. It gives you an easy way to get out of these. So that's nice, at least.
just making sure I got the health. stretch. I think the fire is probably the easiest to hit it with. Mostly you save states to avoid spending five minutes breaking pots trying to get your health back. But you save scum so hard during the final fights in oracles. <laughs> that last fight was uh was pretty tricky. Because you had to do so much, it was what, like a four phase fight? It is, it is indeed a hard, hard fight. You get a hit on Ganon and save. No, that's, that's not. Come on, sense of accomplishment, Ra 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 ra. Yeah, as someone that finished the fight, I, I understand it was awful. I think I spent a good hour or so on that fight, if not more. But it, my inner child would l would not let me resort to to safe states. And the worst part is getting if you were to fail the fight, healing up was. Equally tedious, you couldn't really heal up reliably. Because it just didn't really give you a source of heals. Don't get why you didn't get the Master Sword though, since you got the Noble Sword in the first game. I didn't get it either, I was wondering that myself. Final set of four stages. Okay, it's a boss fight. Alright, we're going fire. Uh, there's a hole in the floor. Well, I mean, I played it on, on the real Game Boy, so I don't know. I mean, it's fine. I didn't see it as a big deal. Unless it, unless it refers to, like, playthrough number three, which is possible. Because you are supposed to play that game multiple times. Like, once you start doing the link code shit. Interesting.
You have to go back and forth between the games. Yeah, I kind of figured. I mean, it's fine. There, was, there wasn't that much of an incentive to go back, I think. Definitely good for replay value, but it's just, you're repeating the same content again at a certain point, so... Oh, that works too, that's cool. Oh shit. As long as as long as it's safe. Oh, this is kind of gross. Dude, this sucks. Enemy spam and then it's just like very close quarter fighting. And just how easy it is to accidentally grab your clone. Okay, I'm kind of safe here. I need the green one, but there's a mummy on the green one currently. No, this is, this is great. Award-winning design here. Enemy spam. I definitely won't be able to do this sitting down for one sitting. I'm gonna take a break after this set of stages. I'm gonna get a drink. I've already been playing it for almost two hours. It'll be two hours, so that's solid enough for a, a video on YouTube. I feel like that was the lesser of evils. How many hours did I do yesterday? Ten? Something like that. I'm kind of glad I did, because it just means it's, it's out of the way. Wow, fuck. What the fuck is this? It's because it has nowhere to jump around, so it jumps through me. I'm kind of feeling a little bit like how I did with Spirit Tracks, where at a certain point I was like, man, I just want this to be over. My enjoyment of it is like, I can feel it getting reduced ever so by the minute, and by the I don't want to hate the game by the time I get to the end of it. It's just starting to get extra egregious at the moment, with the design just not favoring single player.
shit. I was trying to be clever. That was my bad. I wonder if it's just better to face him in mummy form. Almost seems like it is. Skeleton form that's just too erratic. It's weird because it's usually the other way around. It's like you use fire on the mummies because it's just better. Yeah, this is like trivial compared to what I just had to go through with the skeletons. Alright, lesson learnt. Keep them in mummy form. Oh boy. What is this gold? Golden, I assume, means any. Or is it yellow? It's green. It just, yeah, it looks gold. Ghosts again. Okay, good. cool. There's a quick acknowledgement of, hmm, this might be too difficult for the player. Crap. I got greedy. Okay, this is a problem. Oh, that's not what I was trying to do. I guess it's still...
Ooh, that was close. Okay, we're good. Alright, we're going a blue. No, wait, fire, green. It's fine. Oh, no, okay. Fuck me, huh? Extremely lucky though. Okay, it's boss time. Big boss time. Fidget spinner! What we have here is a 3D fidget spinner. Oh, this... This might be hard. Excuse me, can I push my clones off the edge? That was, uh... A lot of effort, just to hit that. It's multiple hits. Okay, green. Got it. Okay. Oof. I mean, at least this boss is visually interesting. I like it. Come on, dude. That one's always going to be on top. All right, we have to regroup. You know what? Good boss. It's not because I had an easy time that was just intuitive as to what you had to do.
Even if I struggled with it, I could accept that that was a good boss. Kind of makes up for just how the rest of this area went. That was, that was fun. This area took the longest out of all the areas, though. Glad to see you safe and sound. Your fight against the witch is not over yet. Your duty is about to get even more dangerous, boy. Don't forget about the fashion essentials. Alright, it's the same. Didn't say anything unique. Let's see what's new. Showstopper. Swordmaster suit. Besides from that, there's nothing really else. Got Linebeck's outfit, but don't have enough to get it. Alright, that was just a quick curiosity. Okay. It's time for a small intermission, and then we're going to continue and try and wrap this up. But if you're watching later on YouTube, this is where it ends for you for now. Hope you did enjoy it, despite how salty I may have gotten during the past world. <sighs> but, hey, nearly at the end of it. <laughs> Alright, see you, YouTube.